Okay, I'm here to record a code I did a long time ago, which is a different kind of code since it was the very first to on the Wii to use an activator of the nunchuck to control precise movement. Uh, I call it whatever I think telekinesis since it's going in a very precise manner it has controllable speed it's not just press the button and it happens it's you can go in circles you can just basically whatever movement on the nunchuck and the, the force you're putting it on now, I can't see it down there I was gonna do a camera hack where it would stay on the ball I never got around to it now this is just the the diagonal this is not the other one see I can I can make it go slow but you don't for some reason the uh, going right or was it left makes it auto stop which I could never figure out how to bypass that but now I'm making it go really slow nice. and see that auto stop thing happen also I got my um, stroke code on so it'll make it do a hole in one or whatever okay I'm gonna change codes I'm gonna in real time I just change the codes now I got the the moon jump hold on okay I did that because well because I started it to my first run and the wind just moved nice it. On. I'm gonna make these try to make these people think on the game make them think that it's going in and then make you think it it didn't and then get it back in using the wind see I'm just barely pressing the nunchuck you can go up or down all right, I'm just gonna get it in this time. <laughs> but or is it in? See, I can go custom speed, which is I'm. I think I'm pretty, pretty much the first one on a Wii code to do this. I heard uh, Bully at Wii Plaza basically stole all my work and put it into a region free, mm -hmm. but he, out of bounds. Anyway, he, he took my code and just made it region free and just changed it to assembly. I did all the research and basic, basically all the work from the beginning. Hole in one. Hole in one. I wonder if it's possible to get a hole in one on this using this code. Not using the other one. Oh, it's floating. Ah, I can't see it. The reason it sounds like that is because I'm just holding it down to the ground and it makes that that sound. Oh, the wind's been pushing it back. Nice ball. So I made the X, Y, and Z axis, and this is just the other code for controlling height. Hole in one. I just changed my stroke count by doing a simple button activator, which I hacked. Uh, I think 2010. I bet using that moon jump code, I can get that to arrive on the spot. No, I can't. So that's my code. Thanks for watching.